Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the WordPress video series. In this video, I am going to install a free WordPress cache plugin. The name of the plugin is Light Speed Cache. And you can see that this plugin has been installed on more than 5 million WordPress websites. So this is one of the best cache plugins that you can use on your WordPress website to improve the performance of your website and to increase the page speed of your WordPress website. So in this video, I'll show you how to install the Light Speed Cache plugin and what are the basic settings of this Lightspeed cache plugin. In one of the previous videos, I have shown you how to use the Airlift WordPress plugin to improve the performance of your WordPress website. This is also a free plugin and using this plugin, you can improve the performance of your WordPress website. In previous video, I have installed this plugin and I have shown you how you can improve speed of your WordPress website using the Airlift WordPress plugin. If you want to watch this video, I'll give you the link in the description box. So in this video, I'm going to install the Lightspeed Cache plugin on one of my old WordPress blogs. Here, I'm logged into the dashboard of the WordPress website and I do not have any cache plugin installed on this website. So first, we will check the speed of this WordPress website in Google Page Speed Insights. So let's open Google Page Speed Insights. All right, and now use the URL of this website and let's analyze the page speed of this website. So this is the current performance of this website in Google Page Speed. This is for the mobile device. You will see the, the performance score is 42 for the mobile. If I go to desktop, the performance score is 71. All right, so now we are going to install the plugin and let's see if there is any improvement after installing the plugin. So let's go to plugins and click on add new plugin. And here search for light speed cache. This is the plugin, click on install now and click on activate. All right, so the plugin is installed. Let's refresh the page. And in the bottom left hand corner, you will see the option light speed cache, click on it. So this is the basic dashboard of this plugin page. It shows image optimization, page optimization, CDN bandwidth, low quality image placeholder. All right, now let's go to the presets here. There are some presets that you can use instead of changing all the settings one by one. So this is the essential, basic, advanced, which is recommended, aggressive and extreme. So instead of changing settings one by one, we will use one of the presets here, which is advanced and it is the recommended preset. So I'm going to apply this preset. Right. So this preset is applied. Now let's go to general settings here. And uh, this is the general settings automatically upgrade is on or off. Currently it is off. If you turn on automatically upgrade, it will upgrade the plugin itself. So if there is any update in this plugin, it will update the plugin automatically. So I'm not going to make any changes on the general settings. Let's go to the next option here, cache, which is the main settings. Now by default, all the cache settings are enabled because we have applied one of the preset modes. So in this, we have enabled the cache. Cache for logged in users is enabled. All these cache settings are enabled. So you don't need to make any changes here. By default, all the settings are good. Next, go to this second tab that is TTL. So this is about the default public cache TTL. And I believe you do not really need to make any changes here. Purge all on upgrade. So if you publish any article or if you make any changes on your website, it is going to purge all the cache automatically. So you do not even need to purge the cache manually. It is going to do it automatically. So that option is also on auto purge routes for publish or update. So if you publish or update any of these pages, it is going to purge the cache automatically. It is also going to purge the settings monthly, even if there is no update on your WordPress website. Other than that, all the settings are good. Excludes, if you want to exclude any cache, you can add that. Then ESI, I really do not think you need to make any changes here. Object, 
then we have browser settings and make sure that the browser cache is turned on so that the browser cache in stores the static files locally in the user's browser so whenever someone visits your website it is going to store the cache or the static files in the browser itself in the user's browser itself so just make sure that it is enabled and this is the ttl is 52 weeks one day six hours that is also good under advanced settings login cookie a very cookie improve http https compatibility so you don't need to make any changes so when you apply one of the preset modes it is going to apply the settings automatically next is cdn if you want to use the cdn you can turn it on otherwise if you do not want you can just leave it as it is disabled so all these are cdn settings then we have image optimization that is also important and by default the image optimization is turned on again you can see that the basic settings are good it will show you the summary of the image optimization here then we have page optimization here now these are the basic minify settings it should be turned on css combine if you want to combine all the css files then you can turn it on all right so there are some other settings if you want to go through the settings you can go through the settings however i'm going to keep it on default preset and now i'm going to check the page speed of this website again after installing the light speed cache plugin so at the top you will see the light speed cache icon if you want to purge all the cache you can simply click on purge all and it is going to purge all the cache you will see it here all right now let's go to the page speed insights again and now we will check the speed of the website again this is the score before installing the light speed cache plugin this is for the desktop and this is for the mobile device now i'm going to analyze the page speed again for the same domain so click on analyze so it will check the speed of the page again and you can see that the page speed of the WordPress website is improved tremendously. Earlier it was on 47 I guess and now it is on 97 for mobile devices. And if I go to desktop you will see that the page speed score is improved to 93. Earlier it was on 71 I guess and it is now 93 which is the best score for any WordPress website. So after installing the Lightspeed cache plugin, the performance of the WordPress website has been improved tremendously. So you can see that this plugin is free and you do not really need to make a lot of changes to use this plugin. You can go to one of the presets and apply the preset. It is going to apply all the required settings automatically and it will improve the performance of your WordPress website. So if you want to improve the page speed of your WordPress website, you can definitely try using the free Lightspeed speed cash plugin so that's it for now see you in the next video do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools if you have any questions please leave us message in comments section and press the like button if you like the video thanks for watching quick tips